216. This is Captain Oscar Vila's view from the cockpit flying into Juneau, Alaska. Any ice is off. In the old days, pilots would navigate by radio beacon and could only fly through this mountainous terrain if the clouds weren't hanging too low. But Alaska Airlines has been a pioneer in using next-gen technology, the government and airline industry's effort to modernize the way planes navigate and are tracked in the sky. Your average GPS in the car, the one that's on your phone, um, that gives you voice directions, uh, play-by-play or turn-by-turn direction, they call it. Um, without the voice part, we have all that in the airplane, except that we have flight directors. Next-gen is the modernization of our airspace. But a decade after Congress cleared next-gen for takeoff, the massive effort has encountered turbulence. An internal report from the Federal Aviation Administration says the price tag could cost far more than the original estimate of $40 billion and take longer to complete. The recent government shutdown and other federal budget battles haven't helped. The industry needs government to participate in building infrastructure, such as NextGen, that benefits the nation and moves us forward. Dale Wright of the National Air Traffic Controllers Association says the country needs next gen. Right now using the old system that was designed in the 50s and even some back into the 40s. But Wright says some of the plans have been too ambitious. All the controllers want is a Cadillac, okay? We don't need the Maserati. Alaska says it's already seeing the benefits of switching to GPS navigation and using new landing procedures. Reliability is high and I think as a, as a paying passenger you have confidence that it's safer. Many airlines are reluctant to invest further in next-gen until they see benefits. For now, that means the prospect of less air traffic congestion and fewer delays won't be coming in for a landing anytime soon. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.